Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I am now delighted to be joined by Sridhar Ramaswamy, CEO at Snowflake. Sridhar, always a pleasure sitting down with you. Great to be here. The buzz around us, it's electrifying, right? The ecosystem is quite literally moving around us, Sridhar. We're currently in London at Snowflake's World Tour. You have been present at a number of the 23 global stops. Yep. What are you hearing from Snowflake's ecosystem and why is this global approach of activating within regions so essential to the long-term success of the AI data cloud? Uh, Ryan, you know we had an amazing summit, record attendees. But you know what's even more amazing? In each and every one of these events, we are selling out. We are growing at like 50% year on year the amount of excitement that our customers, our partners have to hear directly in their own hometown about what Snowflake has been up to is pretty amazing to see. Actually talking to a ton of customers, folks within their teams about how they're using Snowflake, what else we can do for them. Being able to talk at an intimate level contributes so much to this expanding ecosystem. That's why these events that our marketing team takes such great pains to organize are so amazing, both for Snowflake, but also our ecosystem of customers and partners. Great to hear, Sridhar. We are very much in this new era of enterprise AI, where executives across the board are eager to integrate and harness the power of AI. What advice would you like to share with the audience watching on proper implementation? I mean, I'd put this in two parts. First of all, it's important that we all demystify AI. That means using it for simple things, for generating fun images, for trying to answer questions like summarization that you can with a language model that you just could not do before. That personal intimacy with technology demystifies the whole thing. But then if you want to do an enterprise grade application where you have to worry about, hey, did I get the governance right? Is it going to be easy to develop? Is it going to be efficient? And most of all, is the application going to be trustworthy? That's where our customers need a trusted partner like Snowflake. And you've heard me say this before, that's what we do. We make AI easy, efficient, and trusted. You can do a prototype literally in a matter of a couple of hours, see what kind of value you can get from it, and then decide how broadly you want to adopt it. And stuff like governance works out of the box because that's what Snowflake does for you. It is that combination that is truly magic. And that's what you see a lot of customers, Zoom, Siemens, Bayer, all take advantage of because we are making it that much easy and so much efficient for them. Great to hear, Sridhar. You recently took the helm as CEO of Snowflake. What have the key takeaways been for you and what's your primary focus in the months ahead? I mean, first, all of us should understand that we are in a time of unprecedented change when it comes to data as a whole, especially fueled by the likes of AI, which as you know, is like a brand new technology that is going to have a lot of impact on all our lives. So my first message to the Snowflake team is we got to recognize that this is a time of rapid change. And so rapid change calls for being nimble, calls for excellent execution, calls for seizing the opportunity. The number of customers that want to do more with Snowflake is amazing to hear, but you gotta get that hard migration done. You gotta get them over to the Snowflake side where they can truly realize the value of their data, where they can bring on another team to be able to do data analysis or data science and not have to worry about whether the system is going to scale. The opportunity is there. We gotta go seize it. An exciting next chapter, Sridhar. Thank you so much. I wanna focus inwards on Snowflake a little bit deeper. How does your product strategy differentiate Snowflake and set the stage for the AI data cloud's next chapter? Well, it builds on our strengths. And so we've always been very proud of the fact that we have a single unified product. We have a single SKU. Customers buy Snowflake, period. There's like nothing after that. And what we are doing with AI is bringing that level of attention, that level of like careful integration so that AI is just as easy for our customers to use as a SQL query or a little bit of Python that can go crunch computation on a petabyte size table. This is where we are building on strengths, but things like how do you adopt AI? In a reliable fashion, we are breaking ground, but we are breaking ground, holding true to our principles of making technology easy and efficient to use, and it's the combination of our strengths plus our rapid adoption of new technologies that is going to set us up to succeed in the years to come. 
Great to hear, Sridhar. Before we wrap, I want to get slightly personal with you for a moment. As a technologist and founder at heart, what leadership philosophies have you rolled out and how will Snowflake's culture set the stage for what comes next? You know, leadership philosophies can be, you know, can be large and we already, with our company like North Stars, we have a great place to start. But the thing that I am emphasizing even more is accountability. For what you say you're going to do, the fact that we have to get a lot of things done, putting ourselves out there, taking responsibility, delivering our far product, you know, things that we promise to deliver for our customers is the biggest thing that we should all hold ourselves accountable to. Sridhar, such a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining. Always great to see you, Ryan. Thank you. This is so exciting. <laughs> and for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. Thank you so much for joining us at Snowflake World Tour in London. We'll see you soon.